What's up everybody, back with another video. Today I'm gonna to talk about my expenses and how I spend my paycheck, my money on a weekly basis. I've seen several videos like this that have been super popular in terms of just how a person spends physically, it's like swipe the card or pay in cash, whatever it is that calculates all their expenses within a week but I did it a little bit differently. What I mean when I said I did it differently is that I tracked all my expenses. I understand that swiping the card in itself, money gets out of my pocket anyways, but I am a type of person who consumes a product or a food item or whatever it is all the way to its fullest. I tend not to waste any stuff, so when I buy a certain like piece of bread or loaf of bread, should I say, I tend to finish the whole loaf of bread. I broke down my meals in terms of each meal on the portion that I actually consumed. Even though I already spent the money on the food itself, I like breaking it down so I really understand how much I'm actually consuming each and every day and every week. Obviously, this could consider all consumable items such as like toothpaste, shampoo, body wash, cleaning supplies, a bunch of other stuff like water and crap like that. But for the simplicity's sake, I just stuck with my meals on that method of breaking it down like that, just basically meal by meal. And everything else in terms of just like cleaning supplies, other consumables that are not food, I just made an assumption based on how I've been tracking my food and just kind of relating it into two different things and just the portion sizes and stuff. This is a little bit weird for me because I started on a Thursday night and that's when I really start tracking my expenses. But I essentially went over a week worth. So I went from Thursday's dinner all the way to Thursday's lunch slash dinner. So it really encompasses all seven days. I think that just has the whole point of it anyways. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna go into my monthly expenses on how I exactly broke it down so I could calculate it for a week's time span. And then I'll go into the meal by meal, day by day breakdown. So let's get into the details. All right, so for my monthly expenses, I did this. I looked at my statement, see how much it was, multiply it by 12 because there are 12 months in a year and each statement is usually a monthly statement so it makes sense that will calculate the total amount per year and then i divide it by 365 because on an average year or most years i think with whatever the leap year thing is whatever it is divided by 365 that will give me the amount of money that i technically spent per day in that year. Then I multiplied it by seven to give me a full week's worth of expenses per se. So that's how I calculated my expenses. I have a notebook with me, so I'm gonna read off a little bit. And to really understand how I broke down my expenses, you just got to smash the thumbs up button because just, just freaking do it. I did take a sample for like my electric water, gas, things like that um, because this month of February has not ended yet. So I took last month's number, January, and it's been around the same temperature. Uh, I don't foresee anything that was really different uh, from last month in January compared to this month. So I would say this sample size does give a good depiction of how much I would usually spend in terms of money-wise and usage-wise of my utilities throughout the winter months here in Utah. So here it is. First thing is internet. So I pay $65 per month with four roommates or four people, should I say. So really it's 65 divided by four in order to give me the monthly expense, which is $16 and 25 cents per person. So now that I know that I pay $16 and 25 cents per month for fiber internet, 
I figured out what I usually spend in one week. So in one week, I spend about $3.74 in terms of my internet. So just using the internet as an example, which is what I actually pay, I pay $3.74 per week for internet, you can see how I exactly calculated the weekly expenses because you see that I divided the monthly things and blah, 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 all that. Yeah, it's basically it. So I'm just gonna go down the line. So the next utility is water slash sewage. I pay about $3.74 per week. Electricity, I pay $7.97 per week. And then gas for the house is $9.23 per week. And note that this is a winter month and winter in Utah is pretty gosh darn cold. It snows. It's about 19 degrees on average in the morning. So yeah, it gets cold. Moving on to expenses, car insurance, I pay about $19.25 per week. That's quite expensive because I do have a decent car. Okay, now for more insurance, renter's insurance, I pay about $1.61 per week. In high value insurance, I pay about 77 cents per week. This high value insurance really just covers my camera and a lot of other expensive equipment. So I have that and it's pretty cheap. 77 cents per week is, yeah, pretty dope. Gas for car. This is obviously not a constant, but for the majority, I generalize it to about $26.47 per week. Like I said, again, I have a decent car, but it does take premium gas and uh, yeah, sick dude. And then my rent which is about $134.19 per week. And then I got my gym membership, which is about $5.75 per week. I had um, all these other expenses that I didn't necessarily calculate by portion like I did with my meals. So I'm talking more about like doing laundry, laundry detergent, using soap, cleaning supplies, random crap like that, I calculated that to be about 50 cents per week. And that's just a generalization based on how much I guesstimated through like looking through all these other expenses. I just thought 50 cents per week is a pretty conservative amount to give myself. And then I have the seasonings and oils where I like cook my food and stuff. That's also just a part of food but I never really calculated that. And I just give another conservative amount of 50 cents per week. So for my total monthly expense of just maintaining what I have in terms of my utilities, internet, car insurance, rent, all these things that don't really change too much, it's about $215.03 per week. So, which is not really a lot, but in the next part, I'm going to talk about my food expenses, such as the meals that I eat per day based on this past week. All right, now that you are in my kitchen, we can start talking about the meals that I ate. Last Thursday for dinner is when I actually start tracking my daily expenses on what I consumed. So starting with that day, I ate a my protein bar, which is a my protein is a brand, and this is a protein bar that they have. This costed me seventy five cents per bar. This is because I got this on sale um, just about two or three weeks ago, and yeah, pretty good deal. In addition to that, I also took my nightly supplements, and these nightly supplements contain just like five different things: creatine. Um, multivitamin, fish oil, and a vitamin D3 and calcium. So I rounded that up to about 10 cents. For dinner, I had ground turkey, which I cooked in bulk. And this is whatever was left over this past week. So this past week, I've been eating this ground turkey, 93.7 lean, 70% fat ground turkey at least once per day, mainly because I eat basically the same foods each and every day. And additionally, I have this steamable Italian green beans or Italian cut green beans right here. 
that I bought from the store. It's about a dollar per bag and I eat at least one of these bags per day. And that's just for me to keep healthy and uh, not make any weird ass decisions in terms of my food. I like keeping things simple. So throughout the weeks and nights, days, whatever, I practically just eat chicken breast, spinach, that Italian green beans, ground turkey, and rice. So that's about it. Just to get back on track with Thursday's dinner, I had my ground turkey with white rice and one bag of these steamable vegetables and also some spinach. All in total for that dinner, it came out to be like $6.51. Moving on to Friday is the start of a new day and this is the first day where I calculate all the things that I spent money on in terms of just eating or just buying whatever. The first meal I had was really just a uh, Kirkland protein bar which is about 90 cents and then some trail mix. So that's about it. And then after I worked out I had a, a Nature Valley bar right here, which is about 25 cents. Ba-bam, these are freaking delicious. All right, that's focus. And again, my, my protein, uh, protein bar as my post-workout meal because I was saving really my stomach if you just thought about it just now. I just ate three bars and some trail mix for the uh, duration of the day because I was saving my stomach for dinner because Friday happened to be Valentine's Day, if you know what I'm saying. And I went out to dinner and uh, spent with my date and I uh, $55.76 for a Korean barbecue um, buffet, essentially. And that was freaking delicious. I was just saving my stomach. And that is probably my highest spending day on this past week. So including my date dinner and also all those bars and trail mix, the total came out for Friday to be $58.19. And now to Saturday. Saturday morning, I had breakfast at uh, a friend's house. So I technically didn't pay anything, but I did go to Costco afterwards and bought these, um, I bought a bunch of groceries and which included this uh, Fit Crunch Bar, <laughs> and you guys are probably thinking like, bro, your diet is full of freaking bars. Uh, that's that's pretty true for the past week. Um, but these are super convenient, and that's the only reason I get them. In addition to that, they're a good, they're relatively high amounts of protein, so I enjoy these as well, and it's just a win-win for me. Convenient, high protein, and uh, delicious. So either way, had that for like a little snack. And then I also had two of these for lunch. These are like little dumpling, frozen dumpling packs that you could buy on Costco. They were on sale this past week. So I bought a box of them and the box came with six and I ate like two of them for lunch. So that was also delicious and highly recommend these. And then for another snack while I was driving back home, I ate another one of these Fit Crunch bars. And then I came back home to make myself some dinner. And guess what I had for dinner? You guessed it. It was the steamable freaking pack of Italian cut beans. And then my ground turkey, white right rice, have my supplements, and then a another Kirkland protein bar. So that's it for that Saturday. Yeah, that's Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the total amount of cost and expenses that I had for Saturday was $19.15. All right, so I don't bore you with the details. I'm just going to skip all of the individual meal items that I ate for the rest of the week because like I explained, it's practically the same thing with that rice bowl of like white rice, ground turkey, steamable vegetables, bars, and sometimes like an egg or two, which I buy in like a dozen and a half. So they're pretty cheap. I'm gonna go through each day on the total cost and then we'll add everything up together. Just to continue on with the day, uh, Sunday I had an expense of $11.08. 
on Monday, I had $9.80. And just so you know, these are mainly just food expenses. I'm not actually spending that money. I'm not actually swiping my card each and every day to spend like $9 and whatever. It is the food that I bought either two weeks ago, last week, or this past week, and then divided the amount of portions that I have eaten or consumed, and then consider that as the expense. Because at the end of the day, I will finish all the food that I have bought. I tend not to waste my food, like I said in the beginning of the video, so just keep that in mind. Continuing on, on Tuesday, I had an expense of $11.12, and on Wednesday, I had $10.73, and for Thursday, to finish the week off, I only calculated my lunch because I started in my Thursday dinner of last week. So my lunch costed a uh, whopping $7.82. And this is actually one of the more expensive ones because I decided to eat a little bit of uh, luxurious candy and um, sp splurged on myself a little bit. And I, I just uh, feel awkward just saying that, but... I know I'm a freaking cheapskate. All right, just to finish this video off, my total expenses for all my meals this past week was $124.40, which $55.76 was from eating out that Friday night. And if you calculate the grand total with my monthly expenses, which I calculated the weekly expenses for that, with my weekly expenses on meals, it comes out to be $339.43 per week. From calculating all these expenses throughout my past week, it really opened my eyes to really understand that I have a lot of things right now that I currently have in my life that I've accumulated, saved up for, things like that, that I don't need to be buying random crap on Amazon, random crap on uh, Walmart or whatever the th the newest thing is, right? I don't need to buy the newest thing. I can maintain my current lifestyle for basically, if you just multiply that $340-ish times 52, because there are 52 weeks in a year, you it's, it's going to be like under $20,000. And it does not take a lot to live a good life. Like you don't have to spend money in order to feel some kind of satisfaction, you know? Um, Obviously, I'm not like going out to like concerts, bars, and things like that. It, it was not part of my expenses this past week, and I have been doing that. I can do that, but just making a little bit more than 20 grand per year will help me like do that. Obviously, it, it does average out a little bit. I would say my expenses would be a little bit more if I chose a week to go out and go to the bars, buy drinks, buy alcohol, things like that. That would definitely increase my expenses. But for the most part, this is my usual week of just how I spend my money. If you watch my previous videos, then you will understand that I have pretty decent things. I live a pretty decent life and I don't, I don't splurge a lot of money, but I am able to save enough money to buy the nice things. And find opportunities where I can minimize my causes while getting a great value. And yes, it does take work to do like anything that's great and good. It takes freaking work and you have to be patient with it. So understand that you can live a decent lifestyle with a lower salary and probably be happier because you are focusing on different things in life instead of buying materialistic things, even though I think myself, I'm, I'm pretty materialistic, but in terms of just like, I don't know, saving money is like the cool thing to do. It, all the cool kids do it, dude. If you freaking save enough money, you could basically purchase anything you want. You just need enough time. And that's the mindset that I have. Most people think that they need to make a freaking fortune in order to live a decent lifestyle. But at the end of the day, you just have to be wise with your money. And I think I am a good example on how you could be a cheapskate. Uh, um, but a better word for that is just money management. I'm, I'm able to be a cheapskate and manage my money different, differently. 
and more wisely, more frugally. And then at the end of the day, I can essentially purchase a lot of luxurious items if I decide to do so. But I choose to continue not to do so because I feel that most luxurious items don't bring as much happiness as most people think. And just from owning several luxurious items, I know for certain that it would it's just a temporary fix. It's just a band-aid. Just understand that. I know this is like a philosophical slash motivational, I don't know, like dad's wise words or something, but really that's from a 25 year old coming out of my mouth that has owned several luxurious items, I I can guarantee you that it's it it will, it will feel fantastic for like a month and then it wears out and then you will have to find the next best thing. Next best thing. Just be wise with your money, invest in your money, save that money, and then see what you really want to save up for. Have a goal, have different things, spend your money wisely. Don't go out to eat each and every single day. If you even go out just once per week, and I went out to a pretty decent place for, I mean, I paid $55 essentially for two people. So it's a $25 meal per person. Um, and yeah, if I do that once per week, I still could be able to live with essentially a 20 grand salary. That's pretty dope uh, to think about. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not done so already, smash the thumbs up button because it really helps the video out and helps me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later, dude.